This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. If you like what you see, click on the link below this video and put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get yourself a 20% discount. Real quick before we get into the video, just want to put this out there. If any of you out there can do it, and if you if it's on your heart, I'd like you to become a part of my $2 a month club. Now that's not a lot. However, I definitely don't want to make people feel like they're obligated to be a part of that. All it entails is simply $2 a month. All you got to do is click on the link below this video, which is my PayPal. And if you decide you want to be a part of my $2 a month club, just send $2 to my PayPal. So remember, you are not obligated, but if you can, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, now let's get to the video. Something's just not adding up. Is stocks are at record highs, but yet the government just bought five trillion dollars. Inflation is transitory, but just went up to six point eight percent. And uh, how much did your wages go up? Gas, electric. Well, a precious metal IRA with Noble Gold will help you avoid the worst of this. And this month, Noble Gold is giving away a free one tenth ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan that you start. And all you got to do is call 877-646-5347 or you can visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. In fact, Dr. King was just one of those young people, 15-year-old student in Morehouse College when he began his journey to fulfill the promise of America for all Americans. A promise that holds that we're all created equal and deserve to be treated equally throughout our lives. Dr. King wasn't just a dreamer of that promise, he was a doer. And on this federal holiday that honors him, it's not just enough to praise him. We must commit to his unfinished work Puffy to Hobie deliver down. jobs and justice, to protect the sacred right to vote, the right from which all other rights flow. The attack on our democracy is real, from the January 6th insurrection to the onslaught of Republicans' anti-voting laws in a number of states. Oh, it's no longer just about who gets to vote. It's about who gets to count the vote. Y'all hear that garbage? This is what you get. This is what you get. Let's use Dr. King. Knew it, man. They are the pander party. Drinking that panderation. Constant. So now he is using Dr. King to justify a power grab. And to try to equate Dr. King's struggle and plight so that we could have equal voting rights to these dudes trying to roll back voting rights so that they can obtain and retain power. It's crazy to me that they would throw that name out there in the same conversation. Uh, talking about some Dr. King fought for this. No, he didn't fight for this crap. You know, honestly, he really wasn't too keen on these uh, Democrats. And uh, somebody else who saw through it, he was a little more radical. But that was uh, Malcolm X. He said the, the most dangerous thing is the white liberal. Y'all heard it? The most dangerous thing is the white liberal. Okay? At least uh, the Republican will come up to you and they let you know what they think. And put those liberals smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. So now here he is. Captain Nerd to be up here grinning with those crocodile teeth. And when a crocodile smiles, it ain't smiling. So he's trying to pretend he's on our side, y'all. Dr. King, y'all, listen to what he say. And whether your vote counts at all. Mm -hmm. It's about two insidious things. What? what voter suppression it? and election subversion. As they are doing exactly what he is accusing conservatives of. Voter suppression and voter subversion. Boy, they're evil. This one took a lot out of me, y'all. That's why in my title, I put, uh, you know what? Buck wow. Buck wow. So this is the party. Now, see, you would have thought they would learn. They got their stuff shot down. They got Christian Cinema and they got uh, Joe Manchin shut it down. You had the liberal media going in on them all week. Like, uh, I mean, this is the worst week ever. And you would think they would go ahead and check the temperature and say, Americans don't want to hear all of this division they don't want to hear y'all grab the mic constantly talking about some voter suppression. Black folks can't get IDs and all of this. Nobody wants to hear that. Why in the world aren't they listening to the public? Why? Because it's not about the public. It is about their goal and agenda. That's it. Because if it was about the public and if it was about black folks, black folks overwhelmingly says we are okay with voter IDs. 
So then what are you doing? You're sitting back pretending that we're the ones that came to y'all. Excuse me, Democrats. You know what? We feel like we ain't able to vote. First of all, we don't know how to go find out where to even get those IDs. I heard about something called the Internet, and um, I'm still trying to figure it out. I was banging on it the other day, but I couldn't figure it out. And so, um, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I went, I went and got my ID, and, and, and then they said, we don't give them to black people. We don't give them to black people. And then I went to vote, and they said, get on out of here, boy. That's what they had told me. So will y'all help me? Nobody's doing that. So then why are they bringing it up? If we're not saying it's a problem, why are they bringing it up? And they govern like this across the board. How many women do you all know that needed nine months for an abortion? Even if you were, you know, pro-choice or pro-abortion, nine months, I didn't know that was a problem. I've never heard a woman come out of nowhere and just say, man, you know what? They should extend the time for women to get an abortion up to nine months and beyond. That right there goes against mother instincts. By that time, you are in it to win it. I don't know too many people that are saying that we'll go nine months and be okay with aborting a baby. But yet these fools out of nowhere brings this up. And I'm thinking to myself, I didn't know this was a problem. Are people coming to y'all or are y'all simply saying, we're going to create the perception that people are mad about this. They are wicked. Now God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like. Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time. Kevin's Corner. Take care.